Hey, what's up guys? I'm making a video today. I'm gonna try to keep this brief and, and quick because I know uh, you're not here to hear me talk, but to uh, figure out how to wire up a switch in your Jeep. Um, I just bought this Jeep. I'm putting lights on it, um, putting a couple of light bars and, and some LEDs on the front of it. And there was a lot of different options online as far as switches go. Uh, I was drawn to this one for a couple different reasons. Um, it already has the wires already coming out of it that are ready to just practically plug and play. Um, it's got fuses in it. This is metal, not plastic, so I really like that. And then it gave me a lot of options as far as mounting goes. This little uh, mount will go on here this way where you can mount the switch on the bottom. You can also turn it around, mount it on the top. It just gives you a whole lot of different options. I like that it's all solid black and really just kind of matches with the interior of my Jeep. Um, and then just really simplistic switches and it gives you six different options. So I'm going to show you where I'm putting this in my Jeep and how I'm wiring it up so that if you want to do the same, you can, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. All right, guys. So <clears throat> don't freak out. Um, there's definitely easier options out there to be able to route your wires, but I really wanted mine to follow the factory, uh, harness for the Jeep. So what I did was, and this is really, really easy. It, it, it looks much worse than it is. There is a million of these little seven millimeter screws. And so I just started pulling apart screws and all of this came apart very easily. This goes to the speedometer right here. There's three pins. You can't mix them up because they only go where they can go. So don't be afraid to dig in here and start pulling panels out. And what that does is it exposes the main wiring harness here. So that way it's real simple. You can just follow where the harness goes. And then what I'm gonna do, or what I've started doing, is routing it through this little uh, rubber grommet here. And that grommet um, hold, holds some kind of a vacuum hose here. And I took the grommet off. I don't know if you can see that, but I cut little slits in it from the back with a razor blade. And that's gonna allow me to run all these wires through here without it getting all clogged up. And my plan is to basically run all the wires to right here. And then I'll put them where they need to go from there. I'm gonna label them as I run them through here. I'm just gonna label what each one is because on the back of this, if you'll notice here, it's actually got these labeled. So you can see there that that goes to D and F. And then on the front, you've got A, B, C, D, E, F. And these are pretty simple. You just have two power wires. So both of these right here, these thick red wires, those are gonna go straight to the battery. And then you have one ground wire. So just pick a place on the chassis that you wanna ground that. And then at that point, all of these become hot. And you can wire them up directly to, well, I'm gonna use a relay, but if you're running something small, you can literally just take this and run it straight to whatever it is that you're running it to, and then that's it, you're done. I'm gonna wind up mounting mine right in there. And so there is a, on my Jeep, there was a little net on here, and it's set right here where you could put, you know, something down in there, some papers or a pin or something, and I took that net off. I just cut it off of there and I drilled a couple of holes that I'm gonna run the wires through. So those will go through there. And then I mount, I screwed the actual mount to this. And then I'm routing all my wires up underneath here, up through the dash. I just took all of this apart. Across here, behind the speedometer, I'm gonna zip tie it to this and probably put some wire loom on it all the way through here and into here. So it's pretty simple design in my opinion. A lot of the other switches were much more complicated, I think. You had to, I know they have some that's on a pod right here where you've got to cut some holes and do some things. And same thing up here, they make one that go, they make a couple different ones that go up here uh, on the top up here. And you've got to cut out some of your trim there and run wires all down through here. To me, this one was by far the easiest design because like I said, it already comes ready to go. It's very adjustable if you want to put it up 
uh, underneath the dash here, or if you want to put it, you know, right along right here, or even if you did want to mount it up here like some of the others, you could, or you could mount it right here on the on the dash right there with that little plastic piece. I mean, this little thing, it really just gives you a ton of options. And I just bought on Amazon, this came with all of this. So I've got just a ton of wire here that I'm gonna run up through there and label everything and just mark on it with a permanent marker. And there you go. All right, I wanna give you all a quick update here. Things are going pretty well. So you'll notice there's a ton of wire here laying in the floor. Believe it or not, there's a method to the madness. This is a ground wire. Remember I told you on that over there, you gotta have a ground wire going straight to the switches. <clears throat> I've got that hooked in right here with the factory ground. So that's the short brown wire is gonna go to the ground. And then there's two really long red wires here. Those are gonna go to the main power on the switch, the two red. All the rest of these, there's six more. A green, a purple, a red, a blue, a yellow. If you can, guys, I would probably order uh, all different colors um, that match. Uh, as you can see there, there's blue, purple, green, yellow, orange, light brown, black. I would order all those colors if you can. This is what came in the kit from Amazon, so I'm just kind of making do with what I got here, but I'm just, in my mind, I'm keeping up with which one's which. Um, I followed the factory wiring harness all the way up through the back of the dash here. So it comes out down here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see all that. It goes up. You can see there's a factory wiring harness. Uh, let's see right there. It follows that factory wiring harness. I'm gonna zip tie all of this right up through here. And you can see there, it's gonna go right through there. I'm gonna zip tie all that together up underneath there. Around this corner, I'll put some lumen on this so that it doesn't rub on that. I'll have lumen all the way around this and zip tie just like they did right there. It goes right through here and right out through here and through that grommet. So now whenever I slide that grommet back up there and put it in here, it'll all be together. Okay guys, just got everything kind of put back together here. Wanted to give y'all <clears throat> another update. So the panels are all back installed. Everything's all put back together here. Uh, where we're at now is we've got, we've got these wires ran to where the box is gonna go. And just so you guys can kind of see here. Screw it in right there. The two positives that go to the switch. And then these are all the wires that go to the switch as well that uh, are the power wires. So keep you guys updated. All right, guys, we've got everything installed. And just wanted to kind of show you all the finished product. Uh, the new wire loom, you can see here, I ran it all the way over to the positive side of the battery and tied it in with the rest of the stuff here. So that's the new, the new wire. And then, uh, just wanted to show y'all that this works. So right now I've got all the switches off, which means each one of these should read zero. So we're at zero. If I go flip switch A, switch A, I got 12.5 volts. Turn off. zero so let's test the other ones make sure they all work there's all six on turn it 
test B. All right, good for B. Test C. All right, good for C. Here's D. Trying to get this in the camera. All right, there's D. There's E. There's F. And that's it. So I've got all these wired over here, so I know what they go to. So it's as simple as that. Now at this point, whenever I want to say, whenever I get ready to wire in these, the little LEDs, uh, little squares on the front, all I have to do is, if I wanna wire it up to A, just take A, run it to the, to the light. Now I'll never have to go back in here and mess with this switch again. It's wired up. And everything is accessible and, and, and labeled. So, hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be doing more work to the Jeep. Just picked it up uh, about a month ago. And it's a 2009 with 17,000 miles. And uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of work to it. I'm putting up, planning on putting a light bar across the top. Another light bar on the hood. I've already ordered all that stuff. And um, maybe some rock lights underneath. I'm going to change out these fender flares. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day.